A man has been charged with arson after a fire claimed the lives of two contract workers and injured four more. His arrest follows a gas explosion at the Zodwa Special School in Attridgeville. This was on Wednesday. The community already protesting outside of that school. Let's take you live there now to Pule Letsuiti Jones, uh, who has the very latest for us uh, on that. Pule, good morning to you. Last we spoke uh, is that you had the protesters there outside the school, but they're still there, of course, just behind you. And you were awaiting authorities to arrive. I believe that's now happened. Definitely, we've seen uh, just about uh, four police officers coming here just to monitor the situation as well. But uh, in the, while they're doing that, the main entrance to the Zotla Special School here in Atishville uh, remains blocked, of course, with burning tires in front of the uh, main entrance. And what this essentially means is that classes now have been disrupted. There is no business going on here at the school. There's no classes happening. And the, the call has been quite clear that they want to see the principal of the school, who they believe has been not paying uh, close eyes to the situation that happened about two days ago. Uh, some of the residents here say that uh, they've tried to speak to the principal, but they're not getting any answers. But for more on this, let me speak to uh, Steve Mabona from the Houghton Department of Education as well as spokesperson. Steve, thank you very much for chatting to me this morning. Uh, school is disrupted here, and the angry residents say uh, they want to see the principal of the school. What's the way forward from here as the Department of Education in the province? It's quite saddening, uh, very disappointing that... Uh, community members, most of them who don't even have children at the school, they have a nerve to come and disrupt a school, you know, for learners with special educational needs. It's, it's quite sad, really. Uh, and when you look at, uh, since this incident occurred, I mean, the contractor was very cooperative. Uh, he committed to interact with both families of the deceased. He committed to interact with uh, those that are in hospital. And um, uh, we are sure, because he made a commitment that he will be working with them very closely, um, that this matter will be attended to. MEC was here, visited uh, the family, uh, one and the other one was visited by, by the officials of the department. and. Uh, you know, just to con convey our condolences and to show that uh, we sympathize with the, uh, the families of the deceased. So it's quite sad that now we find ourselves where our children and uh, employees at the school are barred from entering the school. Uh, you know, tires are being bent outside the school, which is quite saddening, really. When will classes now resume? Because as it stands, there isn't any classes. Uh, before you came, uh, some teachers came in, they were told to go back, it's including pupils as well. What will happen next? When will classes resume? No, it's lawlessness, which cannot be allowed. I mean, I was engaging with the police to say they can't just uh, uh, be uh, watching at people who are, who are, who are, uh, who are lawless. Um, they need to do something. I mean, they've committed to me that they will then call the necessary um, law enforcement officers who deal with uh, such incidences uh, to remove this community from uh, uh, the school. But uh, what will be happening that on Monday we'll, con we'll make sure that the police must be here and work with us. Uh, schooling must continue on Monday because, I mean, what they are raising here is even outside uh, the learning component, the teaching component. It has nothing to do with uh, what is supposed to be happening in the school. And they can't accuse the principal because yesterday, people who came here to say they want to a place where the death occurred, it's not even family members. Now, the principal cannot be allowing everyone to just come at the school and give them access. And when you refuse that, uh, to, to grant them access, then they, you know, call you names and accuse you of uh, of things, which is uh, really uh, uh, unacceptable. So you're saying they're being opportunistic. I don't want to put it that way. I'm saying what is happening here is uncalled for, uh, which is not supposed to be happening. I mean, if we are sound enough as members of the community who are progressive 
and think about children. I mean, we're talking children here uh, who have a special educational needs. We part them from coming to school. What are we saying? And it's worse. Um, most of them don't even have children here at the school. So they are selfish. Uh, it's a selfish move to want to bar school uh, children at the school that um, you don't even have a child. One person, of course, linked to this incident has been uh, arrested by the police. We saw the statement. Um, but again, will the Department of Education be visiting the family again? Because we were told by the families that you've made arrangements that they receive counselling, amongst other you know, issues you'll be helping them with. Yes, definitely. We have offered. But we remember that uh, this is an employee who's contracted to the contractor that is working here. So we showed sympathy, we showed compassion as a department. But uh, remember, we don't have a relationship with the, with the employee. It's a, a relationship with the contractor. But we showed compassion, we showed sympathy. I mean, we went to the family with the MEC to say, let's go and see them. And uh, with the element of Ubuntu, uh, go there and, and seek on how is it that we can be, uh, you know, helpful of them. And my officials continuously, they will uh, visit the, the families again to see on what are the arrangements and how they can, uh, the families can be assisted. So that's why we say what is happening here is some call for. And there's a meeting with the principal and somebody uh, and to the community. No, what we said was that uh, uh, between the police and them, because they were communicating with the police to say the principal will not be coming here at the school in this uh, situation. We will have a meeting at the police station. They want to meet with, uh, with because anyway they disrupted schooling for today. So why would the principal come here and the employees and the uh, and the learners and they continue pelting? Uh, insults at the principal that they want to talk to. So we're not going to meet with them here. We will go to the police station and they will meet uh, with them there. But uh, really, it's, it's uncalled for because even the allegations that are making that principal access, uh, we can't keep in our. I mean, that we don't have anything to do with them. Education, Gareth, it seems as though community members are quite upset with what he's saying on air to say. Um, not everyone can be denied access to the school, but you can see these are some of the police officials who are now uh, coming here as well. Um, but maybe also let me speak to uh, one of the community leaders here, Tepo Masangu from Alaska. Tepo, what we're seeing here, of course, is Steve Mabona saying that really is unacceptable that parents are disrupting school uh, school um, uh, classes or school lessons here. As the community leader, of course, in this area, what's your response to this matter? I mean, uh, the lessons here have been disrupted. Yeah, the situation here, we like, must just say, is very tense, it's very unfortunate, because one of the person has died, and now the school is disrupted because the emotions are very high. Yeah, so something that I need to advise is that they should come down, go to the police station, resolve this issue, because as it is now, you cannot utter any statement like that, saying uh, whatever Steve said is very wrong for him to say that in front of those people. I mean, they're so furious. He shouldn't be saying this. He's an official. should be responsible and think about their anger. They're angry with these people. So what will be this? Are you going to the police station now? Is this a meeting to try and resolve the situation? Yes. Apparently they are going to the police station, but I'll follow because we need to closely monitor the outcome of this thing. Because it's, it's not, it cannot be that children, if somebody has died, a very humble soul, now he is, the school is disrupted, it's very bad, but now, let's look at the reality. The situation is tense. As the situation is very tense, let this matter be resolved first and other things will be looked into. Yeah, thank you very much, Chetepo. I um, also want to speak to the project managers. Uh, one of the project managers responsible for the construction that is taking place here as well and overseeing every uh, little process that is taking place at the Swatka Special School as well. Um, Ms. Posa, thank you very much for Wale Rona. You saw one of the mobile classes that was uh, burned down as well. As Skolo, why is it at Skolo today? Why is there no learning that's taking place? So project manager So yeah, 
Why about Because the department says they are willing to help the family as well. In the man, is it the department, the principal? Because the department represents the principal. No, eh, because Mr. So, community Because I was not there hunting. Thank you very much. One of the uh, project managers working here in the school saying that, uh, you know, as much as the department will be helping the family with counselling and other, uh, you know, uh, issues as well, they are still quite frustrated that the principal has not come out to address the uh, community and the angry residents regarding what happened here in the school about uh, two days ago. We've seen more police presence come here, uh, Gareth to try and, and uh, facilitate talks and try to put an end to uh, this uh, mini protest taking place here outside the uh, school where a handful of residents are demanding to see um, the principal. As far as you understand right now, uh, the residents, of course, will be going to uh, the near where we now know there will be a meeting between themselves, the principal, a Department of Education and Harding, and of course, law enforcement to try and uh, pave a way forward and ensure that school lessons, of course, do continue uh, come Monday as well because it is really uh, unhopeful that uh, the lessons had to be disrupted in this kind of style. Yeah, the protesters making it very clear to the authorities what they think about uh, the situation, the police even having to get between them uh, and Steve Maborna as well. But for the moment, as you say, the demand is they want to see the principal. They want to hear from the principal. They claim that uh, it is the principal that is responsible for the situation and they want to uh, find out from him how he is going to fix this and prevent it from happening in the future. And as you say, though, Paul Sweetie Jones, the biggest issue as well is that once again, classes uh, being affected. And and uh, for the moment, at least for today, I don't imagine any teaching taking place. We'll go back there as and when more developments come through.